In this video, we're going to do a review and install on this cheap Android radio. What's up people? So I went ahead and purchased this cheap Android radio. I actually purchased this off of Wish.com. This uh, radio was like $100. So what I want to do is I want to replace my Pioneer two den that's in the truck because it's kind of outdated it doesn't have Bluetooth and you know, some of the features that I'd like to have so I went ahead did some research and uh, I seen these on eBay on Amazon and then I came across wish which I've bought a couple things off of and haven't had any problems so I seen this was a hundred dollars so I figured I'd pick it up and see what uh, it's all about what we'll do is we'll open up the box I'll show you everything it comes with um, let you know some of the features. We'll do an install and uh, we'll see how it works. Alright guys, we'll go over some of the things that came in the box. Here's a closer look at the radio here. As you can see, it's got a place for a micro SD card here. Another place for a USB and then it's got an auxiliary port there, 3.5. It's got a knob here for the volume, home button key, this key is for uh, if you have multiple windows up, that's the back button, pretty self explanatory if you own an Android. On the side here has the mounting holes, on the back it's got all your inputs, Then on the other side, it's got the mounting holes here. Pretty self-explanatory. It's a pretty thin radio, especially compared to my Pioneer. My Pioneer usually comes out, it actually comes out to about right here. So this one's a lot lighter, thinner. What you have here is you have a USB cable. Now this is what's going to, your phone will plug into to transfer data. You also got your power wires here. It's your power ground, your accessory, and then on this other harness here, this is all going to be your speaker wires. It comes with a remote. And then finally we have the GPS module here. It's coaxial on the end, and that plugs in the back of the radio. A couple of manuals. And that's all that comes in the box. Box is pretty plain and simple. Doesn't really even have on here a company name or anything like that. So, so the first thing I already noticed is there's actually no brackets that this radio comes with or any type of sleeve like a um, cage for install. So you're gonna wanna use either your old cage or if you have brackets on your old radio, it looks like you're gonna have to use those. It's kind of disappointing because, especially with these screw holes, you might not have the right screws for this. So uh, we're going to go ahead and take out my old Pioneer and hopefully uh, everything uh, line up and the screws will fit in this. Alright, so we're inside my truck. Here's my old Pioneer. You guys seen it in my older videos. You've probably seen it in that. Um, anybody that has an older Dodge, mine's an 03, probably already knows that this... Uh, bezel here I actually custom cut that to fit a double din um, the factory radio is actually a single din so you can't put a double din in these without modifying it or you can look on eBay and there's um, some sellers down there that already actually have bezels that are modified you can buy those off eBay and I think they actually already have brackets fabricated and stuff that uh, everything just uh, pops right in and you don't have to worry about doing any custom work yourself but anyways, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this apart, pull the radio out, and install the other radio. When you're doing this, you're going to want to disconnect your battery just so that um, you don't blow a fuse or uh, burn anything up. So go ahead, disconnect your battery, and then uh, this bezel right here just pops off. Um, and after that pops off, then we'll see where the radio's at, and we'll be able to uh, unscrew that and uh, do the install.
Now when you pop this bezel off, there's actually two, if you guys can see that, two plugs there. Just pop those plugs out to help free the bezel. Alright guys, so that's the bezel removed. One important thing I wanted to point out is there is a screw here you have to remove before you actually pop everything out. So there's that one screw and then everything should pop out. Just be gentle with it. Maybe use some plastic tools if need be. Alright, these are the two plugs I was talking about. Just pull these tabs here, push them down and pop it out. And also you got your cigarette lighter here that you need to pop out. All these other extra wires I got here is actually just for some uh, red uh, lighting for the floor and stuff. So don't worry about that. You won't have that. Um, now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and unscrew the radio. Pull that out. Disconnect everything from the back here. Everything removed. These are the brackets I was talking about here. Hopefully those uh, actually work with the new radio. All right guys, so I got the old Pioneer wire harness out. Um, here's my antenna for the truck. I actually got two speaker wires here that actually go to some dash speakers that I installed. Um, this is actually an RCA that's coming from the camera that I extended. This is actually speaker wire for the other dash camera. And then this is the wire harness for the radio for the truck. I did, I was able to mount the brackets onto the radio itself. So the old screws and brackets that I had actually did work, so that's awesome. Um, if you guys are doing this for the first time, what you can do is go to your local uh, stereo shop or online or even Walmart sometimes has them and uh, you can actually get a wire harness kit that just plugs into your Dodge Ram or whatever vehicle you have and then what happens is they got every wire that's uh, it's labeled, every wire is labeled so you just got to match up the wires with your radio harness. And um, as you guys see, this is in a, this is a factory harness here. Nothing's going to be labeled or anything, so uh, it's going to be hard to decipher what's what. You can, but it's just time consuming. You can spend like 10 to 15 bucks. There's a adapter that plugs into this, and then another harness comes off with wires, and then it'll tell you what each wire is marked as. So it just makes the install a lot easier and cleaner. That's what I did with my old radio. Here's the harness right here. Like I said, that just plugs right into that. And then all these wires that come off of it are actually marked. Either you get instruction manual and they're all color coded or they'll actually have tags off of them marked what, they, uh, what they're for. And then you can just wire them up to your other harness that you get from your radio. And that harness I have everything marked like this one should be the ground here has that marked ground and you just pretty much match up the wires and you're good to go it makes it pretty easy and what I do is I just strip the wire I'll twist them together and then I just use uh, electrical tape to uh, make sure that everything's sealed and that uh, the wires don't touch each other and short everything out makes it pretty simple I don't butt connect these or solder them or anything just because it's going to be a lot harder to uh, remove these, disconnect them when I upgrade my radio if I want to switch out my radio. So I've been doing this for years, twisting them together in electrical tape. As long as you apply the electrical tape right and you cover all the bare wires, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. All right, guys, so real quick, I'll show you the wiring here. Like I said, I just twisted the wires together and then taped them. One... Uh, thing I want to point out though, these white, there's going to be a positive and negative for each speaker and usually it's, it's always the same color. One's going to be negative, one's going to be positive. There's going to be a black line usually on one of the wires here. Always match up the wire with the black line 
with the wire with the black line coming out of the harness. Um, don't swap those because um, if you do, you're not going to blow anything up necessarily, but you're going to reverse the polarity of the speaker and it's probably going to sound like garbage. So just make sure that this wire here, any of the wires that when you run your speakers, if they have a black line on it, run it to the other white line that has a black line on it, just like that. And then the one without it, run it to the one without it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, take my USB cord here and I'm going to fish that down through and usually I, what I do is I drop it into here. That's what I did with my Pioneer. And uh, then I'll hook up the GPS module to the back of it and I should be able to install all this. We're starting to lose a little daylight here. So I'm going to try to hurry this up and... Um, be able to show you guys what the radio looks like. All right guys, that's everything plugged in. I got the USB cable plugged in here. GPS is there, antenna. This is actually the video coming from my rear view camera. Then I got the power and the speaker harness plugged in. I'm just gonna actually leave this, it's got 3M tape on the back of it. I guess you can mount this on your dash or somewhere where you get a good signal. I really aren't, I'm not going to be using this because if I use anything, I'll use the GPS on my phone. So I'm actually just going to keep it rolled up here and then I'm just going to stuff it behind the radio. All right, guys, so I got everything plugged in the back of the radio. I got it mounted up here. Uh, I'm not going to waste time and put the bezel in. Like it says, we're losing uh, daylight here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a test. I'm going to run through the features. Um, I'm going to show you how everything works and what I liked about this radio and the reason why I bought it. Alright guys, so that's what it looks like when you first boot it up. They actually just notified that there's a Wi-Fi network available. I actually already had ran through and played with it a little bit, just so you guys know. Um, but I'll just go over the basics real quick. Um, you got your radio, GPS, Bluetooth, audio, video in, music. Swipe it, you got movie, photo, and photo link. Photo link is what this cable is for that they provide you with. Um, pretty much you should be able to hook your phone up to this cable and it will mirror what's on your phone. Um, I did have trouble with this at first. Um, it had nothing to do with the radio itself. It was actually... The fact that I wasn't using a cable that was compatible. So what we'll do is we'll hook up my phone here. We'll click into that. It's connecting. And there's the display from my phone. It automatically loads to this drive mode, which is supposed to help you for uh, hands-free. I'm just going to get out of it. Here's my phone here. And it shows on the actual radio itself. So it's kind of like a mirror link. So I can just move on my phone. It's going to move on that. I actually could play a YouTube video from here. Going into YouTube. Uh, we'll just click on, how about we click on one of my videos? That's an idea. So here's the last video I did. Then if you turn it sideways, it'll actually turn sideways. And like I said, all it's doing is actually mirroring right from your phone. Which is pretty nice. Pretty responsive. 
So that's one reason I got the fault the radio. One thing I did find out it's a downfall to this is if you turn your phone off, it actually turns the screen off. So just know that you always got to have your phone powered on for it to display onto the screen. We'll get out of this right now. Back out. Go to home. Show you the radio. An army giving hope today. He brings a message of faith. Radio works fine. Details of these stories. Join me at six four CTV News. Let's go back. News leader. Broadcast on AM eight hundred. There's your bass and treble settings there. Go into all your apps. You got a browser, calculator, calendar, Google Chrome, clock, downloads, file manager, Google setting, GPS, iGo, which I'm pretty sure that's navigation. I already loaded Pandora here. And then YouTube music here. There's the Play Store. Um, how to get into that is you actually make your phone a hotspot, and this actually detects that hotspot. So I'll go into my settings here and I'll turn on my hotspot. All right, I'm turning on my mobile hotspot. Just turned it on. And now the radio itself should be able to detect that. And there should be a Wi-Fi. There it is. So it's got a Wi-Fi signal. Now behind the scenes, I set this all up myself. It was real self-explanatory, real easy to do, just go into settings and set it up. But now if I want to go into Pandora, I can go into Pandora. And this is actually getting all the data from my phone. So if you don't have unlimited, this might not be a smart thing to do. And here's my uh, Pandora. Real quick. It's actually playing. Some Mercules. Here's some Aaron Lewis. Click into that. Goes to Aaron Lewis. And it's gathering all this from my phone. My phone's off right now. So it's not like when you do the mirroring of the phone, you have to leave this on. We'll actually go to YouTube Music. And then there's YouTube Music. Skip free trial because I don't have it. And everything pops up. So like I said, everything is coming from your phone right now. Um, it works pretty good. As you can see, it's got a strong signal there. Um, there's really no delay in uh, the system itself. It seems to be working pretty good. It's calendar, click in the calendar. Calculator. There's a calculator. Oh, and I'll show you uh, if you go into the Play Store. You can go into the Play Store. And then you can download more apps to this. So. This is the main reason I got this radio. Because it has way more features than my Pioneer. And it's at a cheap price. Hopefully this uh, radio lasts long. Real quick, I'll put my truck in reverse here. Back camera should pop on. There's the back camera. I did notice that this screen compared to my Pioneer screen, and I'm sure it's due to the cost of it. My Pioneer, I want to say when I bought it brand new, was like $250. This obviously was only $100 off Wish, but the screen itself is a little bit more whited out 
doesn't show as much color or detail, but uh, it's good enough for what it's for. And I'm pretty happy with it so far. So, uh, go back to radio. There's the radio. There's brightness there, you can turn it up and down. Oh, it also has this button here. If you click it, it'll actually show all your apps that you've went through already. There's the calculator I went through, the radio. And just like an Android phone, you just slide them up and it clears them. So it's pretty sweet. It's got all the same functions as like an Android based device. It makes it kind of cool. Up top here it actually reads the name of the song that's playing on the radio station. Go into the settings real quick. This is the display here. You can go into your wallpaper. They got live wallpapers. So now it should show that in the background. Alright guys, so one more thing I wanted to show you that you, uh, it's pretty cool. You can go into settings and you can actually have your own custom boot logo when you fire everything up. Obviously I chose Dodge, but uh, it's pretty cool. They got a bunch of them on there. You can pick whatever you want. Just go into settings. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to do it. So that's pretty awesome. Alright guys, so that's it. Quick review and uh, install of that Android radio. Now that Android radio is 7.1 Android that's built into that. So that's what you're seeing. Um, if you guys are going to go look for one of these, check eBay or like I said, wish.com. Um, they got a few different versions of how the actual radio itself looks, but that one's 7.1 and then also has a built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, GPS and all that stuff. So uh, if you guys got any questions, I know I was kind of brief about everything. I didn't get too detailed in the settings. Uh, put them in the comments below. I'll try my best to uh, answer those. If you guys uh, like this video or found it useful, hit that thumbs up. If you guys like what I'm doing on my channel, hit that subscription uh, button. And uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified. I've been kind of random with my videos. been working a lot lately, so uh, I've just been trying to put them out whenever I can. I'm going to get back to work and uh, put this bezel back on. And then probably after that, I'll probably do some more work on the Impala. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.